What is going on? I want to thank you for coming by to vape with the Viking. So today what I got for you, a little overdue, but uh, <laughs> I have an RDA. It's a little different. It is the Slatra RDA. Kind of hard to see because, well, I like everything all murdered out. So, <laughs> but I do have it on the top side carbon. And then I found a nice little matching tip for it. So uh, I don't know. It almost looks blue for some reason, but it's this is the white carbon edition. So, and what I got running in it today is some Mango Unchained. The last little bit of Mango Unchained I got left. But good news, Dark Star has released Mango Unchained in their full lineup. So definitely, definitely got to try it out. If you're a mango lover, or even if you just like mango, it's a really good flavor. So. But before we get down into this dual mesh, top flowing squonk action RDA, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into Vikings Advocacy Minute. Happens every single time. Every time. So, like I tell you, knowledge is power. Be informed. You have to be informed. If we wake up tomorrow and we have no vaping and you say, I have no clue or I had no clue. I just, that's just, it's, it's not possible in this day and age with social media, uh, news, all that. It's just, I mean, you'd have to live in a hole <laughs> in a cave. You would have to just like literally be unplugged from everything. So, but I tell everybody and some people give me a little grief about this. They're saying, you can't say that, but I say you don't have to be involved, but please, please, please be informed. Because there's a trick to that. If you're more and you're informed, the more likely you are to get involved. Yeah. A little trickery there. So, but yeah, definitely jump on those sites like Kasa and, you know, not blowing smoke. Tons of different advocacy groups on Facebook and, you know, just all over the net. I mean, you can find them. I have several of them linked down into all my descriptions, but uh, it's, it's, I can't list them all. There's so many, which is, great because you tell that more and more people are trying to get the government and this legislation just to just knock it off just stop we know you're in it for the money we get it cool leave us alone <laughs> i don't know what to say other maybe i don't know we'll pay you i don't i don't know just leave us alone please we did this for a reason but anyway we'll get off that soapbox because we'll be here for a while uh <laughs> But let's get back to this RDA. Like I said, there's some kind of cool little innovations with it. Uh, I, you know, and I know there's a lot of, you know, some pros and some cons with reviewers and stuff. But the nice thing is, is I'm uh, not in tied with enough of them to really give you anything other than my honest opinion. So <laughs> without further ado, let's drop the hammer on the Slatra. All right. So what I got for you today is... The MechLife Slatra. So, have had this for a bit. I just uh, kept pushing it off to the side. So, we're definitely going to take a look at this today. So, on the front, you have, of course, the picture. MechLife. Ambitions Vapor. Little thing there. Alright, and on this side, you're going to have a better look of this symbol. And some specs here. And Ambitions there. And then on the other side, again, a little better look at the symbol. Some more facts there. And then what it should look like when it is built with dual mesh. That on there. And then on this, you're going to have your UPC, your scratch authenticity, and your color configuration. And on the back, you're going to get your contents, your warnings, and designed by MechLife and Ambitions Vapor and then all their social media stuff there. And the reason, of course, I went with black because, well, yeah, I just do black things. It's going to match really nice with the red resin, black and red resin. And this is the full kit of the Arclus. So you got the sleeve and the button and should match up really well with the drip tip and black on the RDA. All right, so as you open the box, you have MechLife here. And then you'll have 
your user manual. You'll have the RDA itself, which is what that's going to look like on the outside here real quick. So you got that red and a bit of blue and black, just like the resin kit on the Arculus. All right, so on the front side, you're going to have the symbol there. It's going to be a little hard to see in black, but Slatra, which uh, does mean butcher, not in traditional Norsk or Old Norse. It is uh, technically a different Scandinavian origin, but hey, we're all good. <laughs> so you do have that step down honeycomb airflow on both sides and then nothing on the back side there and on the bottom you're gonna have Slatra your serial number and you're gonna have your 510 pin in there and it is going to be pre set up for squonk this little box of accessories here screwdriver your non squonk 510 pin o-rings post screws Allen this mech life um, basically mesh forming tool and you'll get a couple things to mesh in here you will get canthal which looks like it'll be a 0.26 which should be dual be about 1.3 and then you will also get n80.22 and it will roughly come out to uh, you know one one right at the one mark when you run it in dual and you will take and uh, what I did also is I bought some extras of these but you can buy their N80 or their Canthal and uh, little boxes 10 piece strips as well so take a look there now one thing that I thought was really neat about Mech Life's, uh, at least they're in I-80, I tend to use a lot of Vandy Vape in I-80 and stainless steel uh, mesh, but it's that screen mesh and that stuff does not form, it's just like ribbon. Where this, since it is more open like that, uh, it's going to be made to actually form correctly. So that'll be uh, interesting to try. All right, so we got the device again. I normally use a uh, bearded Viking stand, but I thought with all this red going on, I had actually purchased this from John Beams Customs off Facebook, uh, probably about four months ago or so. Used it for quite a while. Uh, I still use it on occasion. So definitely uh, give John another little shout out. Makes these guys about 20 bucks. But uh, one thing I didn't go over the top that uh, you'd want to see is this kind of ribbing or knurling here at the top so it will help making adjustments a whole lot better as you pull this guy off we'll take a look at the top here because it is a little different well something that we're used to seeing now just a little different for I guess this but <laughs> you do have that step down airflow like we're starting to see a lot more of instead of just being you know, open and close and just shutting off full rows at a time, like from left to right or right to left. This is going to have that step down feature. So you'll be able to, as long as I can get this to slide really well, as you see, if it's going to show up well enough, as you turn it, and you kind of see at least a little glare there, it is shut off the top row. And then you keep turning and this is where it got a little goofy so when you take and do the turn that one is going to shut off your top row but then as you turn again that next step is more severe so you're going to be able to shut off your top row and then as you turn the bottom two rows are going to be turned off realistically the top row is the only one that you're going to be able to single out when it comes to individual rows of airflow. But usually on most mesh style devices like the profile, I shut off the top row. That's all I need. So hopefully that'll work for you. And then we'll get to the deck here. This is quite an interesting deck. So on this side, you'll see, of course, Mech Life. And then on the other side, Ambitions Vapor. 
So you're going to see some fairly chunky post screws here, and they are flat or Phillips, just how you, depending on what you like. I definitely like a Phillips better than a flat. <laughs> so this is how you're going to open the sides. So you take and you open these up, and as you'll see, the ledge here naturally falls out because that's where one part of your coil is going to go. It's going to be kind of, at first, a little hidden or like, well, if you've never seen a review, be like, well, okay, I got the bottom. Where's the top? Well, the top, actually, if you look, is right there, straight up on top. So this not only is the top to secure the top portion of the legs down, but it is also where your juice will come out when you squonk. So it will literally supposed to cascade over your coils, whether you're running mesh or you're running regular coils. And all you're doing with that guy here is flathead on there. And just give it a little turn. And what that essentially does there is make that plate here come up. You have where your top leg is going to go. And then it's going to loop right here where the bottom leg is. And as you see to the top here, here's where your peak insulator actually is. But that is it all loosened up. You got your two sides there loosened. Then you have your top loosened. Do you want to be careful when you're opening those bags? Because these are preformed uh, and very delicate little guys. Very, very delicate. Okay. So what I have here is one that's already pre-bent out of the bag. Now what you're looking at is how they did it is it's rounded or formed. But then the main difference there is then you take, let's see what's the best way to look at that. Yeah, let's take it off there. So they take and then they use their fingers or use like some ceramic pliers or something like that to then bend out the legs. So those are already pre-done. I'm going to go ahead and grab one and... Uh, give it a shot here for you and this is going to be the NI-80s we're just going to take and an NI-80 is definitely very very soft very fragile so we're just going to do that little bend right there and then all you're going to do is take like your fingernails or some tweezers like this Hold on to it, there we go, and just kind of bend it out, and bend it out again, and now you got what basically looks exactly, <laughs> exactly what they have, it's pretty darn close. So. It is definitely going to be something to uh, play around with. And again, if you do not want to use the mesh, uh, you also still have coils that you could throw in there. All right. And you probably have more filling in your hands than I do. So <laughs> that helps a lot. All right. So to put this guy in, if you see how... It's pre-bent, and it's a lot closer than what I had the other one bent at. This makes it a lot easier. If you take, and all you have to do is get the top started. Now, it's already in a slot there, but you'll see it needs to come down here. So just take your tweezers, just little gently pull. Boom, right down in there. Yeah, not not that bad if you just uh, kind of breathe <laughs> and take your time. It is definitely a, a, a different technique than probably what you're used to. But if you see right there, 
that one except for the top all ready to go and I'm going to leave the top unscrewed that way it'll make it easier to get this one in that one I had pulled out a little bit and it actually sank in there just fine okay so lesson learned there don't have the ends pressed in together so much and it actually slides in there pretty effort effortlessly all right as you see this one's a little deformed that's the one i kind of got a little squishy with but <clears throat> that's what this guy is for taking smoothing and even that thing back out and it's probably just a good idea to do that to both sides even if one looks really good you might want to go ahead and just double check your stuff because after all it is mesh okay so there we go got a little little different angle on this one so we'll have to see how that'll perform and plus I do need to get it tightened down a little bit more anyway Welcome back up top. So that was my dive down a little close up on the Slatra. Now I did normally, I did normally, I bought this for this kind of matchiness right here. So this is the Slatra on the MechLife Arcless and it is the resin edition, resin button, and then even the matching drip tip. I really got it for that. Um, but we'll get into the pros and cons of this guy. So pro, it's actually not as hard to build on as a lot of people have said. Uh, with that being said, I can see how it's a huge pain in the butt, especially when you're doing it on camera. <laughs> it's a, that's a whole other ball of wax. But you know, for you at home, it's a, it, it's a little finicky, but it's really not that bad. Uh, literally just that extra little thing you have to do to bend those mesh out is definitely not bad. The, you know, going through the cotton and stuff, that was probably the biggest build issue I had. When I had it too tight, that mesh would tend to bend and move and get uneven kind of easy. Uh, but when you, when you find the right amount of cotton, it took me like three times. Uh, it, it goes through just fine. Just got to be easy, you know, twist that other end so it feeds through really nice and it doesn't distort the mesh. Uh, it, you know, so it's got a little bit of a learning curve, it's, but it's really not that bad. The biggest con, I was about to say pro, the biggest con I have with it though is it does not have any kind of suck back feature. And the reason why I give that a huge con is because most of us know I'm a huge over dripper slash over squawker. Now, it didn't take me long. It took me probably the, the several weeks I've had this, you know, it probably took me three days or so to kind of figure out where that spot was when it was just going to start leaking out everywhere because I wasn't paying attention and squawking. Um, so again, a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, 
But pros, even though the squonk, you do have to kind of tilt to one side or the other to make sure it gets both sides. And that's how you first start over squonking this is you really start looking and pay attention. You're like, oh, no, oh, no. And you're trying to get on both sides. By the time you know that both sides are complete, completely saturated, you could have an over squonk situation. Again, learning curve. So for me, all I really do is I just, not, I don't even really look at it anymore. I just take and barely touch that bottle and just kind of do, 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 and nothing, nothing too extreme really. And then that's it. You don't want to mash that bottle down either because it flows out of that system really easy, which I mean, that's the way it was meant to be. It's mesh. You want to keep everything fully saturated, but we're looking at, um, it owned out to a 1-1. One, one. Uh, yeah, that's not going to focus. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, it's at a 1-1, one, one, and I'm running at 95 watts on the carbon. So here's what kind of vapor production you get off of it. And it depends on your juice. I've ran it anywhere from about 70 watts up to, uh, I think it was right at like 105. Uh, but for like this mango, uh, I have mango and chain in it, the last little bit of that stuff. Uh, 95 watts is a, was a really sweet spot for that juice. But it does work really well. It does have some learning curve issues. But you gotta look, it's completely different. It works on a Mac. And it's just, it, uh, it's overall, I would say, really good, especially for an RDA. And I know there's mesh RDAs. Well, yeah, there's a couple RDAs out there. And now mesh RTAs and all that. And they kind of get very similar and kind of produce pretty much the same flavor and all that. This one is at least a, a bit different enough to make it unique. Son of a biscuit. You know, it makes it a bit unique. Uh, and, of course, I mean, let's let's face facts. I got it to match the Arclus. I mean, come on, matching. But it is definitely, definitely not as horrible, I think, as some people have said it is. Uh, with that being said, is it an RDA I'd run out to the store and grab? It's definitely not going to be my first one or two choice, but it is definitely somewhere in the top ten range. And I did forget to point out there, I do also have that top row, you can kind of see the glint in there, that top row closed off for almost every juice I run in it. So, but you can find this for anywhere $30, $35 out there. Um, you know, you can get it from Mech Life, you can get it from, you know, pretty much any site you want to go to, just Google, you know, Mech Life, Slatra RDA. And I know there's going to be some people out there going, well, Viking, you're a Viking. How could you go past, just gloss past that name? Yeah. Not going to get heavily into it, but yes, it is technically incorrect. It is not Old Norse or Norsk. Uh, it is <laughs> definitely of the Scandinavian countries, but it's not Old Norsk. So uh, we'll just leave that there. But I uh, definitely do like the symbol on there, that little butcher two axes thing going on there. That's pretty awesome. So, but yeah, overall, if you want something different in a mesh RDA, this is definitely different. And it definitely works. Just be precautious on a bit of a learning curve. So, but once you get it going, I dig it. So, anyway, that is all I have for the Slatra today. I want to thank you. For coming by to vape with the Viking. And I'll catch you later. <laughs>